Okay, now coming to the step where you have to characterize your sample. Imagine that we have a sample over here. Imagine just imagine. So you need to characterize sample using the polarizing optical microscope. Now, how to switch on the microscope? First of all, what you need to do is to switch on over here. Switch it on. Second switch over here. And turn this knob to the right. So that you can see that the light is getting increasing the intensity. So now switch on the camera. There is a camera attached on this microscope, so I have to switch on first. Switch this on and switch on the camera. The switch is over here. The switch is over here. That's it. So you have two options. You could use the eyepiece or if you are too lazy to use the eyepiece you could use the uh, camera over here so how to use the camera just simply click this button shown here LV you click LV there will be the your view will be displayed from the LCD screen now how to display the LCD screen after you have clicked the LV Look at this knob, make sure you take this one out so that it will enable your view from here. Push it in, take it out, push it in, you cannot see anything. Take the knob out, you can see directly from the microscope. Now, how to load your sample? Your sample could be very dilute. So if your sample is dilute, it's like liquid, so you have to use the micro pipette. Put the tips on. If it is dilute, put the tips on. Take up the cap. Push a little bit. Immerse in the liquid. Take it out. And give a few drops. Just push a little bit and put few drops on the surface of the glass lights. Now, remember, whenever you have finished, you need to take this off by pushing this knob. Take that off. Throw anywhere else inside a waste bucket. Waste basket. Now, let's say you have put your sample. Now, if your sample is very very thick, it's not even liquid. It's a semi-solid. You could use this chatterway. Scoop it out a little bit and place it on the glass slides, just like that. So, if you have Put your sample onto the glass light. Just simply go to the microscope over here. Make sure your lens is the smallest, four times lens. Put this one first. And put your slide over here like this. And start to observe by adjusting this thing. Adjust this knob. Okay. Adjust it up and down, up and down until you see some structure from your screen. Now, if you already seen some structure, you could use the higher magnification, 10 times or 40 times. And please do not use the 100 times because it needs oil, needs different system. Do not use this lens. Instead, use 40, 10 or 4 times only. So, if you cannot see anything, now it's time to turn on the polarizer. So this is how you turn on polarizer. See the marking over here? The white mark. If the white mark is facing towards you, it means polarizer on. So that you can see liquid crystals using the polarizer. Now if your sample is micro emulsion or emulsion, if you turn on the polarizer, you cannot see anything. So you have to turn off the polarizer to observe emulsion. So this is how you use the microscope. Now, if you want to take picture, let's say you have some structure over here and you want to take picture and store it. You just simply could just click this button. Click it and image will be taken. Or you prefer to record a video. To record a video, you can just simply click OK. 
and as you can see the video is recording and if you want to stop recording push the ok button one more time there you go the recording will be stopped now don't forget to jot down the ok you could see you could observe the previous picture that you have taken by pushing the play button over here push the play button then it will review back whatever you have taken for example you have to jot down the number don't forget but don't jot down the number over here jot down the number dsc underscore zero oops sorry dsc underscore zero six five two dot avi that is the file name of the video do not jot down this number instead jot down this number so that is all how to use the microscope so if you have finished using the microscope don't forget to take out the slide clean it out put it somewhere and don't forget to switch off the microscope okay makes the light dimmer switch it off switch this switch off don't forget to switch off the camera as well and to switch off the camera over here push it up and there you go you have finished make sure your workstation is clean everything is clean everything is put in order don't forget to clean your workstation yeah now the images you could use the images and put it in your laboratory report and i'm expecting you to modify the picture a little bit uh, make it smaller size using specific uh, uh, not just directly paste on your lab report but you need to use specific um, software for example adobe photoshop if you are using Adobe Photoshop or other image processing uh, software, you will have extra marks. Instead, if you are using directly picture paste on your laboratory report, your marks, no extra marks will be given. So that is all for this experiment. Wishing you all the best. Have a good day.